Hello guys and welcome to Laravel 11 tutorials. So guys in this video we are going to discuss how can we send WhatsApp notification or messages in Laravel. Like always I have already created a notepad file right here on the desktop in which I have defined all the necessary steps in order to make this process simpler and easier to understand. So let's move to step number one which says that we need to create a fresh Laravel project or you can use an existing project it's totally up to you. Two commands to create a fresh Laravel project. If you have Laravel global install, you can simply use this command. If you don't have Laravel global install, you need to use this command. In both the cases, WhatsApp-message is going to be your project name. You can name it whatever you want. Step number two, I have already created this project to save time. So I will just show you right here on the git bash and let's move to sublime right here. So once you have created your project or accessed your project, you can simply move to step number three, which says that we need to install the Twilio package. So I will just copy this command right here and let's move to git bash and just paste it right here, hit enter. So the package installation is going to take some time. So I'm just going to pause the video. Okay guys, so you can see the package is successfully installed. Now we can move to step number four, which says that we need to create a controller and put the below code. So let's create a WhatsApp controller. I will just copy this command. Let's move to git bash, paste it right here, hit enter. Once we have our controller, we can simply copy this code. You don't need to uh, pause the video or write it down. I will provide this code in the description. You will find a link. Okay. So let's move to sublime and let's access WhatsApp controller. We'll just remove everything and paste it right here. Okay. We will discuss this part of code once everything is stable. Okay. So now let's move to step number five, which says that we need to create and update the route. So let's copy this. Let's move to sublime web.php and I don't need this route since I, I as I said we are going to update one route which is this one and we have created the other one okay so using this one we are going to return the form and the other one we will uh, be using to send the message whatsapp message okay step number six let's create a blade file named as whatsapp.blade.containing the form to send the message okay as simple as that let's copy this form you don't need to copy this okay i will provide the code just keep that in mind resources views and new file name it whatsapp.blade.php okay once that is done we can simply move to step number seven so step number seven says that we need to get the twilio credentials and enable whatsapp one thing to keep in mind is Twilio WhatsApp number is different from the normal number provided on the dashboard. Just keep that in mind. I will show you. Okay. Now you need to create an account on Twilio or let's say if you already have an account, you need to log in. Then you have to access the ENV and copy these three right there. Okay. So let's move to dot ENV. Let's move to bottom. And I'm just going to paste it right here. Okay. So SID, we will get it from the dashboard. Okay and token again we will get it from the dashboard about the whatsapp number we need to see how can we get it so it's written right here so let's get twilio whatsapp number from messaging overview and we will see this part as well don't worry then we have to synchronize the chat with the advice code that twilio is going to provide us and then we can simply test it so that's about it now let's get these two uh, authentication key first so we will find it on the dashboard once you are login or you have created an account okay so you will found find the sid right here and the token here so the normal twilio phone number as mentioned here it's different from the twilio whatsapp number so once you have accessed the dashboard you will find a button in my case i already have the number okay because i accessed it previously and the same number goes here okay so you will find a button right here uh it should say something like get Twilio number or something like that. So once you click it, you will get the number. But in this case, you don't need that number. Okay. So first of all, what you need to do is copy this SID key and the uh, sorry SID and the token in the ENV file right here. Okay. So I will just do that. I will just pause the video so I don't have to edit it again and again. Okay, guys. So I just copy and pasted the SID and odd token in the ENV file. Now uh, let's get the WhatsApp number. In order to do that, we need to move to messaging overview. Then you will find right here, try WhatsApp. Let's click on it. And then you will find your WhatsApp number right here. So first of all, what you need to do is copy this number and define it in the Twilio WhatsApp number in the e e e ENV file. Sorry for that guys. Okay. So just copy this and define it. So I'm just going to pause the video. 
okay guys so i just copy and pasted this number in the twilio whatsapp number now it's fine now what we need to do is in order to synchronize the chat we need to send this code to this number so let's copy this again and let's move to whatsapp and let's create a new chat put this number hit enter and then we need to say join because we cannot copy join from here so after clicking this you will get the code only the advice code okay so join and paste it hit enter and you will see a confirmation in a while okay so you are all set now we can send and receive messages sorry send at least for this part okay so now we can simply run our project because everything is set up correctly okay now let's discuss a part of code but first i want to show you the form okay so this is our form we will put our number here and we will put the text here in order to receive it on whatsapp so now let's see what's going on first of all let's move to blade file so it's a title then there is a heading then there is some error and uh, let's say error and success messages will be displayed right here then we have a form method post action url would be this one whatsapp okay then we have a field a name phone a name is important just keep that in mind and id also in some cases when you are using ajax okay you you can use the id okay so if we have any error we will display it right here and then we have another field uh, text area name message id message and then we are displaying any error if there is like any we will display it right here okay then we have a button type submit using which we will be submitting our form once that is done okay let's move to a route first route we will be using this one the index method it is going to return the blade file or the form which is right here okay then using the second route once we submit the form we will hit this route and the method would be store so let's move here so once we reach here uh, first of all uh, let me tell you something as mentioned here both the form and two numbers should be defined like whatsapp then colon country plus code so it's a, re a restriction from Twilio side so let's say whatever whenever you want to define the two and the from number what you need to do is you need to pass it like or concatenate it like this whatsapp colon then country code and then your number okay whatever the country code is so you need to define the two numbers like this the two and the form just keep that in mind so we are getting Twilio SID from the ENV or token from the ENV then we are getting the whatsapp number from the env but as mentioned above we need to concatenate whatsapp colon and then country code phone number which is mentioned in this case in the env file then we have a two a number once again as mentioned above we need to concatenate whatsapp colon and then the country code whatever the number is okay message will be simple whatever we write there we will we are just going to pass it to the whatsapp message okay so we are creating a new request I mean we are passing the Twilio SID and odd token then we are trying to say create a message and we are trying to send it to the number which we are going to get from the form then uh, you uh, using this form number or Twilio WhatsApp number we will be sending a message to this specific number then the body will be whatever we have in the message if we have a success we will see the SID if we have any sort of error we will see an error message that's about it now we can test it out so let's do a refresh once again and i will put my number here and let's say this is whatsapp notification okay send okay guys so as you can see message sent successfully with the id let's see the message and right here you can see this is whatsapp notification let's try another one okay and let's change this message login using code xyz okay send message successfully login using code xyz so this is how you can send messages to or notification to whatsapp using Twilio. just keep that in mind this is a trial version once you are satisfied with the services of Twilio, you can upgrade your plan according to your need the trial version is just for the testing purpose just keep that in mind okay guys so yeah guys that's about it from this specific video i hope you guys like this video if you liked it please like subscribe and share thank you take care and yes guys be ready for the next one okay take care